Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and I'm a full-time reseller and I will be your guide to all things selling online, on eBay, on Amazon, being profitable, everything good. I'm gonna try and keep this intro super short and sweet. There's not gonna be any narratives, no overarching story in this video. We're just gonna cut right down to the bolos. I'm gonna show you 25, at least 25 products that I have been sourcing and selling on Amazon. It's all stuff that I was getting from like late January, early February until right about last week. So hopefully stuff that you can still find and flip as well. But like my Instagram bio says, I'm rooting for you. I make these bolo videos for Amazon sellers because I hope that you can find this stuff too and be as profitable as I have been. Maybe you can, maybe you can't, but that's just how it is. I still wanna give you that little push that here's some profitable things, maybe you can do it too. Without further ado, let's get to the bolos. Roll the intro. Back in January, I started out searching for a few new retail arbitrage bolos. Some of them are still standing and some of them have tanked. One of the items I was grabbing were these Burt's Bees cooling shave creams. Amazon had been out of stock for about two months when I discovered them. They were $7.99 to buy, but due to price alerts, I could only get the listing to $19.99 when I sold my first one in January. That only gave me about 45% ROI when self-fulfilled, which is lower than I like it to be. I decided to try my hand at pushing the price alert higher. I was able to achieve that over two months, pushing the price up to $24.99. But in that time, some others must have stumbled upon this bolo as well since the listing went from being traded between me and one other person to now 14 sellers with the price dropping to a low of $15.99. Unless they're finding these on clearance somewhere, they're not making much, if anything, at that price. Like, I just don't get it. Rule number one of Amazon, don't tank the price. I did contact the company to ask about it being discontinued since at the time it was out of stock on their website but they simply said it was in short supply. At the time of editing, I'm not sure what the future holds for this product. It comes in and out of stock on the Burt's Bees website, and sometimes it shows it's in stock when it's really not. My gut says that it's on the way out, but who knows if that's true. All I know is I'm holding the ones I have until I can reach my desired minimum 100% ROI, and I'm not actively seeking more. Next up are these L'Oreal Everpure Scrubs for just 98 cents, down from 10.29. So that's a fantastic savings. Anytime the clearance is this good, it's retail arbitrage on easy mode. And I know showing you an item on clearance near me is not gonna help you any, but I'm showing you these things because it's data. It's putting the product on your radar so that if you encounter it in the future, or if it goes on clearance near you, or you find it at a liquidator, you'll know that it's probably discontinued. Looking at the Keepa chart, I noticed that Amazon themselves had kicked the price up to $15 at one point. And a quick look at the L'Oreal website shows this product is no longer on there, so these are all great signs and data points to look at together to see that this product is probably on the way out, so even if it's not worth picking up right now, it might be something to keep an eye on. But just like the previous product, the price has come down since it peaked, so I'm going to hold these and wait for a slightly higher price. Thankfully, this next product has maintained its price and hasn't tanked yet. It's this LA Looks Max Spikes number 12. I'm getting it on clearance, but that's just icing on the cake because the standard price is around three bucks. So this is pretty straightforward retail arbitrage. You don't need any clearance to make it work. It does have to be the number 12 max hold though. Notice how the number nine is also yellow. The number nine is very common, so don't get them confused. I started selling them at $29.99 and upped it to $34.99. At the time of editing, I've had 29 orders, with some ordering more than one bottle, so this has been a killer bolo for me. Notice that I'm using two different ASINs. I could see no real difference, and they both sold well, so I made sure to have stock on both listings. The clearance hits just kept coming. They had all of their degree maximum recovery body washes on clearance. This is a relatively new line, so maybe they're discontinuing it because it didn't do well. Or maybe they're gonna come out with all new scents. I really don't know for sure. But on Amazon, it seemed like only two scents were doing better than the others. The Tarte Cherry and Cool Rush. I chose to move them under the four pack listing, $48.99 for the Cherry and $44.99 for the Cool Rush. 
There are also single pack listings where you could get a little more for each bottle. And again, even though I was getting them on clearance, they're still technically profitable at full price. Next item is this L'Oreal Extraordinary Clay Conditioner that I was also getting for 98 cents on clearance. I was getting an easy $19.99 for them for quite a while, but it must have hit clearance a lot of places or it hit a liquidator or something because the listing exploded with sellers and the price was cut almost by half. To me, it's looking like it's probably discontinued and Amazon hasn't had it in stock since November. So I feel the price may come back up and I'm comfortable holding mine until that happens. The last thing I was grabbing at this chain were these Aveeno lavender washes and they only started to go up in price in February according to Keepa. The listing is being price alerted on Amazon so right now the best you can hope for is $23.50. Hopefully we can push the price a little higher but if not, eBay might be the better choice for selling them. And with all that in mind, I made the rounds for a little bit in Q1, grabbing all those aforementioned items. Here it is, it got a little monotonous. And I know what you're thinking, why aren't you grabbing the other degree scents? Why just Cherry and Cool Rush? They're all the same price, right? There's a very good reason for that. All of the other scents are currently at Ollie's in big supply. When I originally filmed this, the prices for the Ollie's scents were not as good as Cherry and Cool Rush. And while those seem to be the hardest to find, the prices on the other scents have started to be worth it too. So you'll want to keep an eye on this entire line. With that chain exhausted of interesting arbitrage bolos, I moved on to the next one. But not before stopping at a CVS I had been to before, and I already bought these water wax from, so they must have put out more. I'm not going to question it, it's an easy $50 a piece on eBay. And then this dusty guy looked interesting, and I'm glad it caught my eye because it sells for $60 on Amazon. Then I said to myself, hey, wait a minute, I've seen those in my travels before. And just like that, I've hopped to a new chain to sweep. I've also been watching these Garnier Skin Active cleansers for months now, just waiting for them to get profitable enough to sweep. Keepa shows they were stuck at around $20 for a long time, and with a buy cost of $12, I'd like at least $35 to get my desired 100% ROI. At the beginning of April, it finally happened. But by the end of April, a couple of large liquidator accounts moved in and brought the price back down. So this will be yet another thing I have to hold. No! God, please, no! 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 As for these speed stick stain guards, they also peaked back in March with two selling for around $30, but the price is sinking somewhat as more people discover them, because they don't really seem to be that uncommon. They're only about $4 a stick though, so if the dates are good, I'm picking them up and I'll be holding them, even though they are technically profitable right now. Let's switch it up and go with something I don't have to hold. These Garnier Curl Treat Butters are $7.79 and I can't seem to get the price above $27.99 without Amazon price alerting me. But that's okay because they make for 144% ROI FBA at that price. Although my yellow final net bolo from last year is exhausted, I haven't seen them in a while, the blue is now worth picking up. I'm currently selling them for $25, but the yellows from last year keep going up in price. I sold a three pack of remaining ones that I had for $150. So maybe the blue ones will be worth hanging on to too. Maybe I should actually hold these. As I searched for more Garnier butters, I found some more Garnier bolos. These smooth blow dry creams in the exact same section as the curl butters are $5.69 and it looks like they're currently selling for around $30 each. That's typically how it works for me. If I discover one bolo, I'll scan around that brand and look for other ones, and sometimes I get lucky. Anyway, I made my way around to clear out those Garnier bolos, and I found some other stuff to sell on Amazon. These Sundown Odorless Garlic Pills were the only ones with their own price sticker on them, so that caught my eye. None currently for sale, so I'm gonna ask 30. Okay, next up is this Dr. Hess for eczema prone skin. I've scanned through this whole line and only the eczema one is worth money. I paid $5.99 and sold them for $25. It wouldn't be a retail arbitrage video without a stop at the clearance section. First was this J.R. Watkins body scrub for $8.53. None are listed and Keepa shows the last one sold for $70 in December. It's still sealed, so I'll be picking this up. 
Not always going to be big finds though. I also picked up this Focus Blend Essential Oil for $4.98. There are none listed and I'm going to try and get 20 bucks. Anyway, back on my Garnier bull A little butter, a little smooth blow dry, and what's this? A new challenger approaches. It looks like I can sell a two pack for $54.99. Don't worry about that $9 single pack, it actually doesn't exist when you click on it. So that makes two new Garnier bolos that I found while searching for the original one. Last but not least for Garnier was this coconut hair mask for $6.59. It looks like they currently sell for $21.50 on Amazon, although at one point it was up to $25.99. Not quite as good as the other Garnier bolos, but if I'm making the rounds, they're gonna come home with me. Switch chains to get some of my favorite salads, but the retail arbitrage bolos follow me everywhere. I mentioned these Aqua Velva on my Instagram before. I got them for $6 and sold them for $30, but they're down to $25 now. Still great margins though for such a small product. They also had some of these L'Oreal Honey Eye Gels. I was selling these for 40 and while the buy cost is a steep 25, the sales velocity made up for it. They'd sell within hours at that price. The selling price has gone up even more, currently selling for $46 on Amazon. Always make time for the clearance rack. These should look familiar to longtime viewers because I was picking them up in my Rite Aid clearance video, which is exactly why I said to watch it even if you don't have a Rite Aid because these things show up multiple places over time. So even if you can't benefit from my arbitrage bolos right now, you can learn from the information for the future. I sold my last one of these for $50 on Amazon. I couldn't say no to these Neutrogena toners clearanced out to $3.75 because they sold all day long for $20. Like literally all of these sold on the same day. They're not technically discontinued though. I researched and I turned up they were reformulated with new packaging. And anytime people mention the old bottle or leave reviews saying the new formula is not as good, it drives people to the old tried and true version they used to love. So I'm gonna be very interested to see if these old bottles skyrocket in price due to this. They've got some of the Garnier cleaners here too, even though I established they're kind of in a holding pattern right now and not worth picking up at full price. But a quick look through the section brought these to my attention because they didn't look familiar in all my travels. And something that seems unfamiliar to me is something that I'm gonna scan. I paid $14.29 and I sold them for $35 each on Amazon. Garnier is really coming in clutch with yet another bolo. I guess you could say Garnier is bae. All right, I deserve that. Decided to check one more chain for this video. I wasn't finding much of anything. None of my Garnier goodies were here, but you know, it do be like that sometimes. This lone pack of Burt's Bees eye makeup wipes said, check me, check me. And I said, I didn't take an edible before leaving the house, but okay. They were $4.89 and I sold them for $18.99. Nothing else was too crazy at this chain, and that's pretty realistic. You might not be able to find any of this stuff, and that's okay. Maybe you'll discover something that I can't find in my area. The key thing is, you have to get out there and look. I did find some more of the Stain Guard deodorant, but that listing is getting pretty bloated and I'm not super excited about it. How about we find a better deodorant? I checked the clearance, I sifted through this box of Markdown deodorants, and I didn't find anything super interesting to sell until I got to these Arm & Hammer Cool Blast gels for $2.30. The eBay comps were shocking. Around $35 a stick? That's more like it. Yet again, clearance is just retail arbitrage on easy mode. A fast pass to profits, if you will. That is it, that is all of the bolos for now. I hope you learned at least one new product to flip on Amazon for a profit. If this video helped you at all, even like a teeny tiny bit, do subscribe because I make at least one video a month and it's all about my full-time reseller journeys. Either it's flipping stuff from the thrift on eBay or it's retail arbitrage stuff on Amazon. Already subscribed? Thank you. I love you, you are the best. Leave me a like then instead because one like equals one get Heather out of this sweltering car and into her own office where she can film because right now my options are car, backyard, or living room with my lights set up and possibly my kids and cats making a lot of noise. Or if you're just still here and you like the video, I mean, that's cool too. 
as always, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it and I am truly rooting for you. If this helped at all, leave me a comment. Let me know because I love to hear about it. Now get out there, have fun, and find some of those bolos.